Welcome back. Thank you for being here today. If you've followed me for the long haul, then you know that I love to cook, I love to bake, I love to spend time with my family, I love to host and entertain parties, but one of my favorite things to do is to just host family dinner for my kids. And if you follow me on Instagram stories, I share all the time our Friday family dinners. I watch my one and a half year old granddaughter June bug on Fridays. And a lot of times I will prepare a nice family dinner. And then when Kirsten and Tim come to pick up June, and if they have Kaylee, they bring her. Um, and McKenna and Bobby, when they get out of work, they'll come over. Carly will be here. And if Chloe is not working, she will be here and we'll have family dinner. A couple of weeks ago, I had shared on Instagram stories um, how I set up a family dinner and we were having a taco bar that night. So we had tacos. I actually just did packaged rice and I made a pasta salad and some dessert. Just let me say this real quick. If you go to my personal brand website, Tracy Hensel, there's a recipe tab there. You can access my recipes right from that recipe tab, but I do talk about that in the footage that you will be seeing. Anyway, I had mentioned on Instagram stories that I was setting up for a taco bar, and I had a couple of people DM me asking if I would show it. And I did. I showed my whole setup. I actually saved it to a highlight reel called Hosting Tips, which hopefully I can add some extra tips at some point on stories and I can put them in there as well. But I decided just to film the footage and do a YouTube video so that you could go back and access it. Now, I do have a video from, I believe it's February of 2019, where I share, and I haven't watched that video since then, so I have no idea what the content really is all about, but, but I, I will make sure that I link it and you can watch it. But it's preparing for family dinners. So things have changed. The family has grown since then, and you know now, Things just are always in motion and changing with a large family. I do host large parties at times, uh, a few times a year. Uh, we had a wedding here this past uh, June, and we've had Kirsten and Tim's wedding here. So there's a lot of hosting and entertaining that goes on at our home, and I always share that footage. But it's pretty common, especially during the fall, season to have Friday night family dinners. So I today am going to walk you through that taco bar that I set up. And again, this was just for the kids to come over in the evening. I, I had taken care of June all day. So it's a lot to take care of a 18 month old and prepare a full blown family dinner, but I do the best that I can. And it's just something that I really enjoy. It is, it's a love language really for me. I may take you through a second dinner today when I'm filming this, it's actually Thursday and tomorrow is family dinner. And if I have time, <laughs> because it's a lot to set everything out and try to film it before everyone arrives and starts dishing in. Uh, if I have time, then you'll see footage of that one as well. You may only see footage of the taco bar. You may be lucky enough to get a walkthrough of the second one, but I don't know because again, today is Thursday and I'm just keeping myself open-minded about tomorrow. So there will be videos linked below that you can take advantage of. And I also did a video, I don't know what year it was, where I filmed all of us decorating for Christmas and hosted family dinner. And that may have been 2018 maybe? That may have been before. 2017, 2018? I'm not really sure, but I will put that video in there as well because it's a vlog style video and it just may be fun to watch something that's a blast from the past. Anything that I can think of in the footage that is linkable, that is still available, I will put that those links in the description box below as well. Also, you'll see my website where you can get to the recipe tab. It's better to access the recipe tab from a computer like a, like a laptop um, versus your phone because it, on your phone you can't scroll. I, I'm going to get that fixed 
at the beginning of the year, but it's if you can't find a recipe and you're using your phone, you may want to access it on your computer. But I love to cook, I love to bake. The recipes that I put on the website are exceptional. Because in our family, we all cook, most of us, most of us cook and bake. If, it, if, if it's not superb and, it, and, and just exceptional, it doesn't make the cut. We never make it again. That is just how it works. It's just not worth it. So I guarantee you that the recipes that I have are fantastic. Now, if you're not someone who cooks or bakes, you may not know little secrets to how to do it. So you may mess up recipes. And often if something doesn't turn out, that's gonna be the case. But it's a perfect time to get started. For me, cooking and baking is is kind of how I um, recharge. I, I recharge. It's it's not work for me. It can be work, but I, I, I recharge by doing that. I'm actually going to bake cookies later on today if I get time. I have everything setting out so that we can have them for family dinner tomorrow. So let's do a walkthrough of at least the taco bar, maybe a bonus of a second meal. We'll see. Um, if not, I'll at least try to get it on stories and try to keep it in that hosting tips. Make sure you're watching my stories and checking out my highlights. And then also, the gift guides have all published. The men's gift guide and the three ladies gift guides. There was a gift guide with gifts that were 25 and under. Gifts that were $25 to $50 for the ladies. And the luxury gift guide, which is gifts that are above the $50, $50 price point. I publish these videos year after year and you guys always look forward to them. So please access them. Please access all of my old Christmas gift guides because there's just, I mean, really, honestly, everything that I share are gifts that I just would go back to. Some of my favorites. This year, I tried to dial in on a couple of different things that I don't always talk about, and that's why I want to encourage you to check out the past gift guides as well. But be watching me on stories. There's more holiday content to come. And i um, going to be sharing toddler gift recommendations, maybe some gift recommendations for teens. Also, if you're not signed up for my weekly newsletter, that comes out every Friday and Sunday. Friday's newsletters from now through Christmas will be another gift guide. So be sure to sign up for the newsletter. The link will be in the description box below. And then on Sundays, I just share purchases that I've made throughout the week, tidbits about what we are doing as a family. I may share what recipes I made for Friday family dinner. Um, just a lot of nuggets like that. Things coming up, different programs that I'm hosting like the three week intense, which I'll be doing segment four at the beginning of the year. Segment three is currently going on. So a lot of things going on. So make sure you're watching and following me on all my different platforms. But all right, let's take a look at the taco bar night that we had a couple of weeks ago. All right, let's do the walkthrough. One of the very first things I want to share is I always set out hand sanitizer. Obviously people can wash their hands, but post COVID, I just always have hand sanitizer out. I also want to share that I am quite picky about plates if I am going to use disposable ones. Sometimes I use disposable, a lot of times I don't, it just depends. Tonight we are. And I will share with you that I don't like these type of disposable plates that are like that cardboard. These particular ones are by Chinette. I like disposable plates that have a silky finish to them, which these ones do. Um, so I'm, they were on sale, so I, those are the ones I picked up. As long as they are a dinner size, and they are the silky finish. Actually, for tacos, I would recommend more of an oval shape plate if you can find them. And again, a lot of times we use regular plates. We have our dinner napkins. Sometimes we use disposable uh, plastic utensils. Today we're using silverware and I put them in this little caddy. And then this is a tortilla warmer. It is not designed to, I don't believe it can go in the microwave, maybe, I've never put it in there. What I do is I warm the shells up in the microwave, so I will take the shells out of this package, 
put them on a plate, I cover it with a damp paper towel, I heat them up, and then I put them in the tortilla warmer, and then they will stay warm. And we have a backup because one package won't be enough for our family. And then over here, we have a mini crock pot with the taco meat in it. I made three pounds of taco meat. You wanna make sure you have enough. And then I always have a little spoon rest sitting out. Here is lettuce. I'm not a fan of the bagged shredded lettuce. I just feel like it has a funny taste to it. So I just buy a head lettuce and I shred the head lettuce myself. Oh, honey, you're such a good lettuce. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Paul is joining us. Um, it's very important. This is something that I do see people kind of skip and it's a great tip. I'll give you this angle. You always want to leave space for people to put their plate down. So if we were to take a plate, we will grab our shell and then we will put our plate here so that we can start assembling our tacos. And then over here, we have the shredded cheese. Another thing about the cheese, let me share, I don't like bagged cheese. This is shredded cheese. I do sharp cheddar and it's all shredded. So that's another thing with our family for tacos. We are not a fan of the bagged. We have some chopped onion, green pepper, tomato, and cilantro is a must. I mean a must in our family. We all love it. I know people either love it or hate it. We love it and we cannot be without it. A lot of times I will dish out the sour cream into a white dish like this. Uh, it depends on who I'm hosting for. When it's just the kids, I don't. But if I was hosting for a group of people, I don't I generally don't put anything out in its packaging, but we have sour cream, we have the taco sauce, and then here's a little tip. We unloaded the dishwasher earlier, but then as you cook, you end up with a lot of dirty dishes. So our dishwasher just got done running and the dishes are really hot and steamy, so it's not quite ready for me to unload. And I have dirty dishes in the sink over here, but I don't want people to see them. And I also wanted an additional station where someone could put their plate and assemble a taco. So I ended up covering that side of the sink with a cutting board. But if you didn't need that, you can take a towel. I actually have a towel here just to kind of shimmy this up. You can take a towel and just lay it over your dirty dishes. If you're doing a buffet on your kitchen counters like I am tonight, then you don't want people to see your dirty dishes. So even when the kids are coming over, I do that. It's not necessary, but it is just something that I do. And then we're gonna come around over here. This is just the Nors Mexican rice. It comes in a packet. I made two packets. It's a stove top packet, but then I put it in this casserole, small casserole dish, and I've actually been keeping it warm in the oven. So I will put it back in there to make sure it's nice and warm for when guests arrive, when the kids arrive. Tonight we just have Kirsten, Tim, Kaylee, Kaylee's friend, and then of course June, she's sleeping right now. And because we watched her today, it's Friday. You know, I have her on Fridays. And then McKenna, Bobby, Carly, Chloe, and Paul and I. Here is my Supreme Pasta Salad. This is on the recipe tab. The only thing I didn't put in it today is the is carrots. Typically I have that in there, but this is a family favorite. I actually have a container in the refrigerator to replenish if we need to add more. And everything is sitting out. And again, very important to have space to put your plate so that you can dish out whatever you need. And then over here is dessert. I made pumpkin chocolate, or no, pumpkin cheesecake brownies. 
they weren't a home run, so you're not going to see, I mean, they're good, don't get me wrong, but things need to be epic for me to add them to the recipe tab because I do so much cooking and baking that I am not going to settle for something that is just so-so. I'm also not a huge brownie lover. I much prefer cake with buttercream frosting or cookies. So that could have something to do with it. I will see what the family says about these brownies, but we have a great pumpkin chocolate chip cookie recipe that is amazing that I highly, highly recommend. That would be the go-to or the pumpkin gooey butter cake that is on the website on the recipe tab would be the other thing that I would recommend. So that is where we are at. Um, of course, I have some cleaning stuff to clean bug up. And this is just a typical Friday family dinner. Nothing fancy, just the kids. I wouldn't call this hosting for a party. Things would be a little different if we were hosting for a large gathering or for other people besides our kids. I would maybe set up a buffet table. Things are gonna be different, but this is just a great example of a Friday night dinner with the kids, which we do all the time because I watch Bug on Fridays and a lot of times everyone loves to come here for dinner. So that's, that's where we're at. And then let me also add in, like I said, I can always add more of the pasta salad. Um, I also have more brownies that I can replenish and put out on the platter. All right, I already have company here, so we're going to make this really quick. I don't need to go over some of the details. Today we have real plates. In the crock pot is mashed potatoes, but they are a deluxe mashed potato. They have quite a bit of seasonings, and it's a crock pot recipe. I will be sure to link this, and it's a mashed potato bar. So we have butter, sour cream, green onion, bacon, shredded cheddar cheese, ranch dressing. Over here we have some baked chicken thighs. I will have recipes on the recipe tab. Also anything that I can link will be linked. This salad is already on the recipe tab. That good salad, one of my favorites. That pan is hot still. And bless you. We have some biscuits to serve with butter, butter and honey. Pick your poison. And I hear little June bug. She's playing with Poppy. She's playing with Poppy. I'm gonna wash this pan real quick. Friday family dinner. And peanut butter blossoms, which I made yesterday. And Kimmy's favorite. Is it? It was Kaylee's I favorite too. That. Yeah. There you have it. Family dinner, Friday family dinners, which I absolutely love. We will back off now that we're getting into the holiday season. Probably a little bit because if if there's a party going on like on a Saturday, we're probably not going to host for, uh, family dinner on. I'm probably not going to host family dinner on Friday night. So it does kind of slow down a little bit during the holidays, as you can imagine, because we have so many parties to attend to, and we actually have our annual Christmas family dinner out coming up. I believe that is set for Saturday, maybe December 11th. That's an annual tradition that we do where Paul and I take all of the kids out to a pretty nice restaurant and then we go to a light show that's uh, about a little less than an, maybe about an hour drive from our home. So that is coming up. Because that's on a Saturday, we won't have a uh, Friday family dinner that week, but we're also doing a couple days of cookie baking. Last year we did Black Friday was an all day cookie baking day, and then we designate a special day just to do the sugar cookies that we frost and decorate. So a lot of quality time with the family. Again, that's my love language. I love doing things 
with my kids and I love the guys and I love the season of grandparenting. It's just really been the best. So I hope I can inspire you today to host a few family dinners and step out there if you're not a cook. You can always do takeout. Um, it doesn't have to be all sorts of frills. Again, you can use the plastic plates. You can use the throw away, throw away and disposable stuff if you need to. But I hope I can encourage you to tap into that family time, get together with your kids, and create the create memories because that's where it's at so thanks for being here and i'll see you soon right here on youtube and on instagram stories take care Bye.